what can allow you to activate and increase the size of your anterior mid-cingulate cortex? Well, it's very simple, to do things that you don't want to do. I the title of this paper is The Tenacious Brain, How the Anterior Mid-Cingulate Cortex Contributes to Achieving Goals. And there's one figure in this paper, and I just want to summarize a couple of things from, because it's just like a wow figure. There aren't many figures like this. I mean, this is a review article, so this figure includes panels pooling from a bunch of different studies. But I'm going to just highlight a few of these by paraphrasing what's in the figure legend, okay? So bear with me here. Incredible. Never before, meaning never before reading this article and learning about anterior mid-cingulate cortex, which again is largely the consequence of work done somewhere between the years of 2010 and now, 2025, did we even understand what the anterior mid-cingulate cortex is there for and is doing. It could do other things too, but this is an extraordinary set of findings and an extraordinary brain structure that everyone should know about. And that's why number five on that list, if you want to improve brain function and brain health over time, is to do something you really don't want to do, something really challenging, both psychologically challenging and physically challenging, at least once per week. Make sure it's safe psychologically and physically, but do that thing. That's been established. But I also do deliberate cold exposure by cold shower or by cold immersion because I hate it. And because I know that by doing it, I'm going to be activating my will to persevere, my grit, my willpower. Who wouldn't want that? But mainly because I want to improve my brain performance and brain function, both in the short term and over time. So if you want, in the comment section on YouTube, because that's where I can see the comments best, or perhaps on Spotify as well, where they now have a comment section. I guess Apple has a comment section too. YouTube, Apple, or Spotify, put in the comment section the form of exercise that's both psychologically and physically safe for you to embrace, but that you would loathe to do and that you're going to perhaps, no, not perhaps, that you're going to commit to doing in 2025. And then we can compare and contrast and we can all see which ones we hate the most.